Hi, welcome to another Tasty Tuesday on Christie's A Plus Cooking. Today, U is for unusual food combinations. Let's get started. Today's featured recipe is Coca-Cola fried chicken. I started my marinade by pouring one liter of Coca-Cola into my bowl and I added four teaspoons of Louisiana hot sauce. I then combined some several spices to make a spice blend using two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of onion salt, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of that mixture into the marinade. And then we're gonna add four diced garlic cloves. I use the squeezed garlic because it's a lot easier. And then we're gonna combine it and pour it on our chicken. And then we're gonna refrigerate it for two hours. The chicken has marinated for two hours. You could actually marinate it up to four. And then it's important to drain it. I'm gonna pat them dry so that they don't spatter when they fry. It's also important for the chicken to come to more of a room temperature so that when you cook it, it cooks more evenly. I have taken two, cup, two and a half cups of flour and I'm gonna add three teaspoons of baking soda. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. These measurements you can just do to your, your liking. So, to taste and add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna mix the flour around to blend in those. And then we're gonna make a batter using two eggs, about a half a cup of water, and then a half a cup of the flour mixture. And also, one and a half tablespoons of the seasoning mix. And we're gonna combine that. It should be about pancake consistency. And then you're gonna take your chicken, dip it, and then dredge it in the flour mixture. And then we're again gonna let them rest for 15 minutes so that it's not cold when you put it in the oil. I took vegetable oil and heated it up in my electric frying pan to 360 and now I'm going to add three pieces of the chicken. I'm going to fry it for about eight minutes on each side. You can also cook it in a deep Dutch oven, but it takes about eight cups of oil to do that. When your chicken is nice and golden brown, you're gonna turn it and cook it for the same amount on that side. Here is today's recipe.
as you can see, the chicken is a nice and golden brown. I didn't end up cooking it eight minutes on each side. It was more like four minutes on each side. If you're afraid that it might not be done enough, you can always put it in the microwave to heat it completely through. If you're enjoying watching my videos, be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell your family and friends about it. Thanks for watching Tasty Tuesday and I'll see you next week.